we have edited our form now we are going to start with our php code i will come here on top i will be writing php syntax and inside this now we are going to work with the database so first we have to connect with the database and for connection we have already written the code inside connect.php now i just have to include that file here include connect.php okay now i am successfully connected to database now we are going to start writing our insert query before writing insert query whatever values are present inside the form let me show you whatever values i write here this value i have to access only then this value i will be able to store inside the database so first i am going to access that values and when i want to store that values when i click on submit button only then i have to store those values so i will write here if is set inside this i will be writing post method because we are going to use post method and inside this i will just copy this name value when my submit button is click when my submit button is set only then i have to access the values and i have to store inside the database to access the values first i will be creating variables i will create here product name and inside this also how we have used here dollar post same way we are going to use this dollar post inside this i will just write here product name whatever value we have given inside this name attribute same thing we have to pass inside this square brackets now i'll just do here echo and if i just write here product name i will save this i will come to my project i will refresh this one if unexpected token okay on line 2 here i will write semicolon i will save this i will refresh this one now inside this i'm just going to write laptop at product okay this also i have to fill because i have given required choose image i will select this earbuds at product now you can see laptop is displayed whatever product name i gave here that product name is displayed using this dollar post product name we are just getting the value whatever is present inside the input field i will remove this two times i'm going to copy now next is our product price i will copy this here i will paste and also here i will be pasting you can give any variable name whatever you want but inside this post we have to give the exact value whatever we have written inside the name attribute now for product image also i will copy this and inside this i'm going to paste and also here i'm going to paste now here is one catch for price for text for everything we can use dollar post but when we insert the images we are not going to use post we will be writing here files i will write here files because using this files we are just inserting the image now inside image we are having two more things we have name of the image and we have temporary name of the image first i just want to access the name for better understanding i have already uploaded video on this if you want you can refer that i will be giving you the link in the description but this is the basic way to insert the image inside the database first i'm just going to access the name i will just write in small letters then below this i will be accessing temporary name i will copy same thing i will write product image product image temp name whatever variable name you want you can give i will be writing temp inside this also we are going to use dollar files 
product image now i have to access temp name now this images i have to move inside one folder i will do control b main folder i am just going to create one folder images i will close this now below this i will just write here product image product image folder and inside this my images should be moved inside this images folder what image i have to move i have to move this product image i will copy and here i am just going to concatenate with that and i will be pasting here so what i have done first i have accessed the name of the image then temporary name of the image then this product image i just want to move inside this folder so i have just created another variable and whenever i insert the image this image will be moved inside this images folder so it is very important to give the correct path as i have created the folder inside the main folder you can see inside the main folder i have created this so i have just given images if you create another folder and if you give inside that folder then you have to give that folder name slash images slash this product image now we are going to write insert query i will write here insert query i'm just creating one variable inside this i will write this my sqli query okay this is a method and inside this i'm just going to pass two arguments first is our connection variable if i am successfully connected to the database only then i'm just going to insert this is insert query into table name i have used here text before one in our keyboard we will be having the symbol inside this i'm going to give table name insert into table name and here i'm going to pass the column name name price and i am having image these column names what i have given here that should be exactly matching with this names what we have given inside the tables you can see we have name we have price and we have image this should be exactly matching with that we have to give column name then values inside this values our first value for product name we have created the variable this value i have to store inside the database so i will be writing that inside this this is the string so i will be writing single quotes product name then again colon i will write here dollar i will be writing product price then again finally we have to insert the image our image will be stored inside this product image dollar product image okay these are the values we have created this is our insert query my sqli query and inside this we are passing this connection variable whatever variable name we have given here exact same thing i have given and we have already included the file here so we can use this variable insert into products these are the column names present inside the table values i am just inserting this one product name product price and product image now if it is executed successfully it's fine if i am having some error i will write here or die and inside this i will write insert query failed and below this i'm just going to check for the condition if my insert query is successful if i am not having any error then i just want to display product inserted successfully else here i will be writing else i will copy same thing and inside this i'm going to paste there is some error there is some error inserting product i will save this
if this query is executed successfully only then i have to insert the product or else i should be getting this error but when we inserting this products we are having image as well our image will be moved inside this images folder so what i will be doing if it is successful we are going to write one method move uploaded file and inside this we are going to give this product image temp name comma and this image name we have to get from this folder so i will be writing here so the image path will be stored inside the database if this query is successful only then we are going to perform this step and we will display product inserted successfully or else we will get this error i will come here i will refresh this one now inside this i am going to write laptop Guys, I will give twenty thousand. Choose file. I am going to select laptop. Open. Add product. You can product inserted successfully. And also, I will be showing you the images folder. Inside images folder, you can see laptop dot png is added. This image will be added automatically because we have directly moved that image inside this folder. and also in database i will come i will refresh this one you can see inside the database also the details are added we have inserted the product inside the database next what we are going to see now if i insert the data here let me insert laptop i will write here 30000 choose file laptop open at product you can see i should be getting the message in this format and also i should be getting here cross symbol when i click on this it should disappear so next we are going to implement that